Hi, my name is Kenna and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a comparison of a luxury product versus an affordable product. And this is going to kickstart a series on my channel because a lot of you guys ask about what's the difference between some really, really expensive products versus some cheaper alternatives and dupes for those really expensive products. So today I'm going to be talking about Drunk Elephant and The Ordinary and we're going to dive into their marula oil and why there is a significant price difference between the two. So if you want to hear my thoughts on which one is better, if there is any differences in the quality of these products, then just keep watching. Okay, so the reason why I want to compare the marula oil from Drunk Elephant and The Ordinary is because it is a single ingredient product, which makes it very easy to actually compare the formulations right off the bat. And I'm going to talk about why there is such a significant price difference between the two. So the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Oil is $95 Canadian for an ounce or 30 mils of product. And the Ordinary 100% Cold Press Virgin Marula Oil is $9.90 Canadian for an ounce or 30 mils of product. So this is essentially a 10 times price difference. One is $10, the other is nearly $100. And we're going to dive into why that is the case and if there is any quality differences in these two products. So both of these products do contain a single ingredient and that is Sclerocaria berea seed oil. Now this is a nut found in Africa and both of these ingredients from both The Ordinary and Drunk Elephant are cold pressed virgin oils, meaning that they're unrefined, there's been no heat used in the process to make these oils, therefore they retain all of their antioxidant properties that are really beneficial for the skin. So if both of these ingredients are exactly the same and it's the exact same volume of product that you're getting, why is there a 10 times price difference between The Ordinary and Drunk Elephant? So it really comes down to the brand's philosophy and their positioning within the skincare market. The Ordinary has posi positioned themselves as a very economical, affordable brand that has really small margins but are planning to sell a lot of units. That's why all of their products are extremely affordable because they're not doing these huge margin markups and really making the product so that you can buy it if you have pretty much any budget for skincare. On the flip side, Drunk Elephant is a luxury skincare product. They are providing you with that kind of consumer experience with the pretty aesthetic bottle. It photographs really well. It looks really nice on your counter. Um, if you do have other of their products, they all have different color codings, so it can be really cute. And they're just selling you this experience in this idea that they really care about your skin. Everything is based off of science and they're looking into the pH of everything and it's just kind of a full rounded experience. The Ordinary is an experience in its own. Again, they're really founded in the pH of their products, the science, the beneficial ingredients that you can use, but they're targeting different markets and they're targeting their consumers in a really different way. The packaging of The Ordinary brand is just a basic amber eyedropper bottle that is very, very cheap to produce and there's really nothing fancy about this packaging. It's really more about what's on the inside. And then on the other side, Drunk Elephant has this really cute square, very custom eyedropper bottle that gives you way more of a nice consumer experience. Again, like I said before, it's gonna photograph better. So if you're a skincare blogger or a beauty blogger, that might look better in your collection than the, just the ordinary product itself. So really what it comes down to is marketing and their positioning within the skincare market. The Ordinary, again, going for that affordable market and then Drunk Elephant is going for that more luxury, full rounded experience, um, you know, something that you would wanna treat yourself on. So all in all, neither product is better, but if you're looking for an affordable option for marula oil, you're gonna to gravitate towards The Ordinary product if you want to have more of a luxury experience with your skincare and you can afford it, you might gravitate towards Drunk Elephant products and both of them are totally fine. It is just important to note that what is on the inside is going to be the exact same thing. There isn't gonna be quality differences in those oils 
because they are both cold press unrefined oils they are the exact same thing so the reason why i wanted to start with this marula product or this marula oil from drunk elephant and the ordinary to kind of kick off this series is because it is a great example of how even though what's on the inside can be the exact same thing with other products often very similar but it's where that brand is targeting itself within the market that makes the impact on price so i'm not going to say that the drunk elephant one is better or worse or worth it or not worth it that decision is totally up to you whether you're looking for just an affordable version of a marula oil or you're looking for that luxury skincare experience and you want to treat yourself you can make that decision and purchase based on those factors so since this is the beginning of a series where i'm going to compare luxury products and their more affordable counterpart let me know what luxury expensive products you want me to do this with down in the comments below so that i can find those more affordable alternatives and dupes for those products for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.